Hello, I'm trying to start another project. I'm going to add some more power to one of my RC cars and was checking if my old electronic speed controller is working. And uh, I just forgot what the channels were responsible for and uh, wanted to share with you uh, the way how you can figure out what the channels do on a receiver here. So my electronic speed controller is now connected to battery and you can turn it on with the switch and then I have this steering wheel so I unplugged the cables from the receiver to show the channels so they're marked with one two three four and they're also marked with minus plus and signal so minus and plus is providing power usually the power comes from the cable that comes from the electronic speed controller and then via the signal cable the electronic speed controller will get the signal from the remote control and will trigger the electric motors via these cables that go to the electrical motors normally now they are disconnected and the same would work for the steering wheel this is a steering electrical motor which also con gets connected to the receiver they all look the same and also the remote control sends the signal to the receiver and this electro electronic motor will move but sometimes you may lose the instructions and you're not sure which channels uh, corresponds to which function on the remote control and uh, you don't know where to start from when you start working with this electronic components so how would I do this? I would first of all connect the electronic speed controller to any channel if you don't know where to connect it it's because to check this receiver channels we need to provide power to it then you need to check which cables go where because these sockets can be connected vice versa uh, there's no unique form of a plug and you may connect it incorrectly normally the red cable is plus it's in the middle so then you need to decide which is minus and which is the signal cable usually the minus would be black cable or brown cable once we connect it we will check if the receiver gets power we turn it on now we see that electronic speed controller works and we also see that the receiver works and the LED here is not blinking which means that it has already synced with my remote control I don't have this electronic speed controller connected to the electric motors because I have started my project I need to prepare the plugs I need to maybe solder the cables to the electrical motors so I would have only a multimeter to check the voltage of the cables here when you send the signal via the remote control or the simplest way would be just to use this steering wheel electrical motor by connecting it to each channel for example let me connect it to the first channel and now I will try manipulating the remote control and see what it does now let's start by using acceleration buttons so I press accelerate and nothing is happening now I will try to use the steering wheel and we can see that it works so my conclusion here would be that first channel is the steering wheel and it actually coincides with the steering wheel functionality so you would plug this steering wheel electrical motor to the first channel but now I need to know what other channels do and now let's try the acceleration and we see that the second channel is responsible for acceleration going forward and going backwards so now I plug the steering wheel electrical motor to the third channel and on the remote control I have here 
channel 3 and channel 4. Usually these kind of remote controls have extra functionality. For example, to switch the transmission on RC cars from high to lower speeds. So when you push this button, it will send signal to switch a device from one position to another or to turn on some LEDs on an RC car. So for example, when we look at what happens with this electrical motor, when we press the third channel button, you'll see this. So the electrical motor moves from one side to another. In this case, this functionality would be useful for the transmission, for example. Now let's check the fourth channel. So now I have to switch the cable that comes from the electronic speed controller from the fourth channel to another channel so that I could check what happens with the fourth channel. And I plugged in the cable of this motor to the fourth channel. Let's see what happens now. You see that the behavior is different now. The electrical motor goes forward and backwards. So this is how the four channels work. You can see that the behavior is different.